Do you know where your channel audience are coming from? Are you sure other people from other countries are not interested in the videos you create on your channel? In this video, I'm going to help you answer those questions so that you can start generating extra views to your videos in no time, even if you're a small channel and we are starting right now. Hi, I'm Winston the Solopreneur Warrior and in this video, I'm going to show you how to find where your channel audience are coming from and how to translate your videos to their language so you can start getting more viewers from people speaking that language. But before we get into all that, I would like to know in the comments area below this video where your channel audience are coming from. And if this is your first time to this channel and you're interested in making money with the videos you upload on YouTube, you might want to check out my video crash course on on how to do YouTube affiliate marketing the right way. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's get started. Now the question on where to find your channel audience can be answered by looking at your channel analytics. Simply click on the analytic tab in your video creator studio page and select the watch time option. As you can see from this channel, by default, YouTube display starts within the first 28 days. So these are the most recent and current viewers or audience to this channel. To know where the viewers to this channel are coming from, simply click on the geography tab here and you will see a display of the different countries your viewers are coming from. In this case, most of the viewers to this channel are coming from the US, India and Nigeria and I know there are many different languages spoken in India as well as Nigeria for example. Now if you click on the more option tab here and then on the video info language tab, YouTube will break down the different languages in demand for your videos. It's rather unfortunate here that YouTube decide not to specify the largest chunk of language on this channel but you can still get a picture from the stats below. Look at this for example, I might start thinking of optimizing my videos for Arabic language, German or Albanian. As you can see, only one thing can come out from all this and that is getting more views to your videos. So now, how do you go about translating your posted YouTube videos in another language? That seems to be the obvious question now, right? That's exactly where Revoicely comes into play. With Revoicely, you can instantly generate automatic captions, audio translations and voiceovers using its ever-adapting artificial intelligence. Now, if you decide to translate your video to another language using the voiceover feature of the Revoicely software, your viewers will be able to hear the original audio at a normal volume when there is no speech. As they continue watching the video, slowly the original sound will fade out or it will continue at a very low volume level and the voiceover that is generated will Revoicely in your chosen language will slowly take over. By translating your videos to target languages spoken by your targeted viewers will help increase your views, clicks and sales with every video you create. You will also be able to instantly dominate YouTube and Google search engine for foreign languages. Now watch how you can easily transcribe or translate any of your videos in 30 different languages using 270 different voiceovers in UN style. Hello and welcome. In this video, I will show you how to generate subtitles, translate them and generate voiceover. First of all, click on generate subtitles and click start. Our video is transcribed very successfully. So next step is we're going to translate it. So let's click on translate. From here, choose the language you want to translate it to. So my, my, my video or the, the source language is English. So I will translate it, for example, to French and click start translation. And it's, it's done. And as you can see here, we got our translations in the timeline and also in the vertical timeline. So the next step is we're gonna uh, put some options for our voiceover. So we're gonna come in here and click options and uh, I will choose WaveNet for the technology and uh, for the voice name, I would just pick one from, from the list. Let's say I want the last one and let's listen to it and see how it's gonna be. Okay, I will just save changes. 
So next step is I will click on voiceover. Uh, it means like to generate French voiceover. So let's click on it and see. Okay. It seems like we just need to click again to generate so it will start. So let's click on it. Okay, it's uh, synthesizing subtitles to voiceover. Okay, it's done. And as you can see in here, we already got our, sub uh, not subtitle, but voiceover in the timeline. And uh, let me show you how we can make you in style voiceover method. So first click on the video in here, in the timeline, and you will get these settings uh, in here for the video sound. First, uh, I want the volume of the video to be 100%, but the volume of the video when voiceover is playing over, I just want to reduce it and like something like 10%. Okay, so let's go back and uh, listen to the video and see how it's from the beginning. J'ai eu mes hauts et mes bas, ma juste part des routes dumpty et des vents violents. My fair share of dumpty roads and okay. winds. As you can see, the UN style voice over method is working very well for this video. The English part is reduced and the French one is talking like uh, very like loudly. So that's what we mean with, with the UN uh, style voice over method. So that's it for the video. Uh, we just need to render it. For example, we need to target the French version. And here you put whatever you want to name your video and here you want to out uh, how you want to what you want to render, for example, if you only want voiceover, select voiceover, or if you want audio, the, whatever you want and click render. That's it, thank you for watching this video.